Hi, I'm Christelle. And we're Blondie's Kitchen. And today we're going to show you how to make our skillet cookie topped with ice cream. This is a giant skillet cookie to share for dessert with friends, family, whoever you want, or to yourself. It's, it's very big, but yeah, you could eat it yourself. And it's basically like a half-baked cookie dough pud, and it's joyful. So we're going to show you how to make it. Um, we're using a tabletop mixer, but you can actually make this one by hand. So if you don't want to use a mixer, you can use electric whisk it's or you can do it by hand. It's such a amount of like butter and ingredients that you don't have to work it that hard. So first things first, like with all our cookie dough bases, we're going in with our butter and sugar to begin with. So make sure your butter is softened. And we've got unsalted butter. Um, because we like to season our bakes ourselves. But if you are using salted butter, that is so fine. And we've gone in with light brown sugar. We're using light brown sugar for this recipe as it adds caramelization and fudgy flavors that you really want from a hot cookie dough dessert. So first things first, we're gonna beat the light brown sugar and the butter together. You can smell it. It like, smells like caramel. It does. So now that's cream fully together, we're going to add in one egg. So as you can see, this is quite a small recipe. It's got one egg. And that egg was meant to go in the bowl <laughs> and not on the table. That was really good. I've got a really good idea. You've literally just fried an egg <laughs> on the table. Hold on, look. I'm so good. Oh my god. We're not going to use this egg. Really? Thank you for that clarification. Okay. Let me just lift this up for you so you don't miss the bowl this time. <laughs> Thank In we you. go with one egg. In we go. Lovely. And we're going to beat this really well to combine it. Oh, you can add the vanilla. Now I'm going to add the vanilla. Now we're just going to scrape down the bowl with our spatula to make sure that everything's combining really well. We always do this whenever we're making cake, cookies, what else do we make in here? Bread, anything, always scrape down the bowl and make sure everything's well combined. It's just to make sure that it's all even, isn't it? It is. Ooh. Mix it up. I think that's done. Got a pinch of salt there. And that looks beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry about that. That looks all pale and fluffy, exactly how we like it. So now we're going in with a pinch of salt because sweet and salty balance in a hot baked dessert just makes it all the better. Don't you find like just a touch of sea salt on well, any dessert? When you hot. eat something hot, it tastes sweeter than when mm. you eat it cold. And I don't know why, but it does. So you must season this recipe. Defo. And so now we're going in with some plain flour. It's self-raising flour. Is it? Yeah. Well, now we've gone in with some self-raising flour that I thought was plain. But it's self-raising, perfect. So I mean, yeah, of course, because this dessert, we want it to puff we up. We want it to puff up and be thicker than, if you put plain flour in, it won't rise. it's not gonna rise. No. And now we're just gonna give it a slow beat so that I don't put the flour all in my face. You heard it here first. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. So, one. Okay, good. That is all beaten together now. That is perfect. And that is our cookie dough dessert ready to go in our skillet. So we're using an eight inch pan that is oven proof. If you've got a cast iron skillet, amazing. You can use one of those, but we just wanted to show you that you don't need a cast iron skillet to do this. You can just do it in a regular oven proof pan. Just or make dish. sure that the handle is safe to go into the oven, otherwise you'll melt your hands. And make sure you don't forget to just go in the oven and take the handle out without oven mitts on, because I've done that before. Oh, and it's, it's, it's the, the worst. worst. It's, there almost needs to be a sign on the handle, I am hot, like to remind oh, you. And you never remember. I no, remember I burned, never. I take the whole thing out sometimes. I'm like, and then your hand sticks to it from the heat. It's just the worst. I've got some cookie dough here. So we're gonna actually just go straight into the pan. We do not chill this dough. 
no, no chilling required. You could actually knock this one out if you've got people over for a dinner party or friends for afternoon tea and you wanna serve something fast. Look how quickly we just made that. You can literally knock this one out so quickly, can't you? <laughs> knock this one out. I mean, I'll knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes straight in. You always laugh at my lingo. I know, knock this one out. Well, you know, bish bash bosh, it's nearly done. Okay. Perfect. Just gonna use my fingers. I was gonna say scrape that last bit off. So just grabbing a metal spoon, um, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten this all out, like so, to cover the base of our dish. And this is a non-stick pan, cast iron's fine, but actually we're serving this straight to the table in the pan with ice cream all over it. So quite honestly, don't worry because you're not having to transfer this to a cake plate or anything. This is literally a hot cookie dessert. Let me just taste it to make sure it's good. Mm. Can you taste the vanilla? Mm. And I can actually taste that slightly salty mm, flavor, it's delicious gonna be even better when it's hot. So now we're gonna get our chocolate chips and we are going to place them all over. All over. Mm. Yum. We're using Belgian chocolate Ooh. chips, but you can use whatever you like. If you wanted to fold half of your chocolate chips through the batter when it's in the mixer and then put some on top for decoration, you can do that too. I always like doing this because then you get a pool of pool. Pool? pool. You get a pool? <laughs> pool Where are you from? I don't know. What's your name? Where did you come from? Oh, you get a pool. No, yeah, she's right. You get a nice pool of chocolate and it's amazing. But anyway, this now goes in the straight oven. Straight into the oven. At 175 for around 12 to 15 minutes because you want this to have a nice golden crust, melty chocolate, and an oozy middle. Let's do it. Let's go. So it's finally ready. It smells I'm unbelievable bossy. in here. I wish you could smell this. You I'm getting to it make out. this so you out. can smell this. Get this bad boy out. But please reminder, watch out the handle is hot. <laughs> Christelle's <laughs> making sure she's holding the handle. Which, oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. That is how you make a giant cookie skillet. And then I'm just going to wrap the handle and leave that there so I don't burn myself. Neither does Chelsea. So we've also got ice cream because hot and cold, it's just winner winner combination. So with this, we recommend scooping straight on to the cookie dough because why not? And just eat it straight out of there. And this is just so impressive to anyone you're serving it to. Imagine serving this to the table, everyone's jaws are on the floor, and then you just go straight in with some even more wowness with any, any ice cream flavor that you like and just start piling it into the middle. And we're using like a cookie brownie ice cream, but you can just use regular vanilla. I mean, I'm personally a sucker for a classic vanilla combo with a cookie. Oh, you like dessert. chocolate? I, do, I love chocolate ice cream on its own, but if I'm having it with dessert, I like going in. We're just getting all that on. Wow. Wee! And the middle is going to be really oozy and amazing. I don't have a spoon and that's all I'm thinking right now. Do you want to get the salt and the spoon? Yes. So basically we're just piling up the ice cream all on top. You want to make sure that the ice cream is scoopable so that you're not. Got some sea salt flakes because you know, everything in equal measure here. We're just getting ice cream all over the table. <laughs> Perfect, and it's a okay. little bit of sea salt just to actually sprinkle on the cookie itself, not the ice cream. Just adds the perfect balance of like sweet and salty flavor. And this is how you make our incredible spoon giant cookie skillet. So we've got the biggest cookie here with the smallest spoon. <laughs> Sorry, it's all I could find. <laughs> I... You wanna dig in? Yeah. 
Cheers guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Read in the comment section, the full recipe is there. And don't burn yourself in the oven because we did warn you. We did, now let's go. Mm. Wow. Delicious. Mm.